That's right. Although, you know, I must point out, uh, Costello had his flag earlier, so maybe Doc Gregory feeling in a little bit of a lenient mood today. And so it looks go. like we've got Shorty Small squaring off with Billy Franco to get started. And Billy Franco working on getting this crowd behind him, and, and they are. It's working. Absolutely. These, these people getting riled up here, which is, uh, you know, as I said, one of a very few handful of matches that uh, Billy Franco has had. He looks confident out there. He's waiting to go. I mean, eye to eye. Not a lot of change right. of expression. But. Although, you know, again, knowing the good fellows like I do, I have to think it's only a matter of time before Shorty Smalls just smacks the gun right out of Billy Franco's yeah. mouth. Absolutely. Call it hard calling over time. Billy Franco comes off with an arm ringer. Into the hammer lock. It's got good torque on it, too. Yeah, he's definitely got it cinched in nice there. Not a lot of daylight there. Oh, oh, wow. But Shorty, being the veteran he is, knows where to look for the openings and found it. Big right hands to the head. You see Doc telling him to open up that it fist. Looked like Franco was trying to get back into his corner, maybe even make a, make a tag and get out of that position. Oh, and now the ring has been cut off here. Already, and that's just a testament to the Goodfellas, not only their abilities as singles, but when they tag team, come on. The Goodfellas is a team practically unstoppable, wow. and you're seeing now the result Look of at all those of those right years. hands. Laying them in, just one right after another, really just beating him down in the corner here. I'm surprised Doc Gregory wasn't inserting himself a little more. Oh, and a shot there. Big right hand, the intensity that Deuce has, has uh, taken over since becoming Deuce Donatelli once again. And as if you noticed there, as Deuce was giving Doc Gregory a piece of his mind, Shorty Smalls, with the referee's back turn, was laying it in to Billy Franco there from the outside. Tell you what, as we've seen since their, their comeback in, in Elite Pro, uh, Story 12 and Deuce Donatelli, the good fellows, like you said, years as a tag team prior to them parting ways. And now that they're back together, I mean, that chemistry just goes right back in. I was a longtime tag team partner with my with Leslie Leatherman as the Highwayman. Any great tag team that you see, they don't even speak. They just look at each other and they know what they're thinking. Right, exactly. Shorty now just... And again, you see the ring being cut in half. You see the quick tags in and out. I think Billy Franco already in this matchup is in a heap of trouble. Maybe he might be able to make a tag here. His have, he did have the mental wherewithal to make the tag. Oh, well. Shorty Smalls now welcome frustrated. Welcome to the party. How can you be frustrated beating the crap out of someone? But Shorty Smalls looks angry. You know, Shorty always looks angry. Shorty always looks angry. The match is still happening. They haven't put them away yet. That's why he's mad because they're still, he doesn't get paid by the hour, Jake Davis. Oh, uh, look at this. Cyrus Silver now standing suplex holding him up there, letting all that blood rush to the head. Beautifully executed. And you can see, you can see just the visual. We can see the body language showing the pain that he was in when he hit that mat so hard. Great read presence as well, because he lifted him up in the center. If he would have dropped him at the angle that, that he picked him up at, he would have dropped him right to his own corner. He actually walked around and dropped him away from his corner to keep the ring cut off. Absolutely, yet another testament. Elbow drop now by Shorty Smalls. And another one. And that's not your typical uh, elbow drop there near 300 pound shorty smalls that's right that's a lot of that's a lot of gravity that's right and again clearly you can see who is in control hard knife who there the has corner. the experience cutting that ring in half not allowing him to even think about making a tag a big victim kick right to the center of the back that will knock the wind out of a man in a heartbeat Kind of reminded me of the old uh, spinal tap from the legendary team of the Grungers. <laughs> Absolutely. Only I, I must say, I, I think uh, they might break a rib rather than knocking the wind out. Yeah. <laughs> Deuce Donatelli now, rear chin lock applied. Beautifully placed knee in the back there too, torquing that head back onto his thigh there, right between the shoulder blades. And you can see Billy Franco in the other corner trying to rouse this crowd and, and help them get behind his partner. Having, having trouble timing his slap on the turnbuckle with everybody else in the room. but It's it's hard to, to match up a couple of people, I, I, but you got to try. These, these people in Petersburg probably must like counting or having trouble with that big oh. clothesline there. Look like Cyrus was starting to fight back. <laughs> Just imagine if they were wearing mittens. Shorty Smalls over there has that steel chain. Shorty, for some reason, now almost looks like he's grinning. Yeah. Or is it just me? Does it look like, you know, he was touching that chain and I saw that grin. I, I have to think that he might have a little something in mind that well, involves that chain. Much like a villainous, I'm, I once knew, known as Casey Carlisle, that 
you're, you're angry while you're beating them, and once they're pra- you can feel them wilt, that's when you start having fun. This is true. This <laughs> you see those true. grins come across the faces sometimes when you know you're in complete control, and at this point, Shorty is just that, complete control. Definitely enjoyable to be the one dishing out the punishment rather than the one on the receiving end. Absolutely. Great. Oh, now and now you can just see the nastiness, you know, right up against the ropes, nowhere for Billy to go, and just clawing at his eyes and his face. And just nasty. It appears in the, in the there's a lip ring in the in the in the mouth there of Billy Franco. Knowing Shorty Smalls, it wouldn't take much for him to notice the rip right out of his lip. I'm honestly surprised it's still in there. Eats the turnbuckle hard. So the eyes cross from here. Beautiful Shorty now job there again. You see the off. experience. Shorty not allowing Billy to have the chance to escape, holding him in place, taking full advantage of the five count that they have from the referee. And again, and I've noticed this on a lot of teams that want to say bend the rules, unquote. But uh, Shorty staying in the ring for a five count, and then the illegal move that Deuce was applying with a chokehold was a five count. What does the referee count? Or is he trying? Is his first order of business? is to count to five to get Shorty out of the ring so it gives a nine count for the choke or vice versa. That's an Very excellent Very intelligent point. on their, on their, on their behalf there. Excellent point. It is. Excellent point. Kick square, square to the chest there of Billy. Just, again, knocking the wind out. There's an obvious strategy here, and that strategy is punishment. It, it reminded me of the tag match I saw last night with the, uh, you and Brittany Forrest. Very similar situation. You guys utilized not only a move that would have warranted a five count or that could be deemed illegal but also with the tag so that you have a dueling count there and it's got to be confusing for the ref he counts one two and then he's got to stop and count one two and then he's got to you know he's, something's got to give indeed so. yes and you know jake that's the reason why there are there are still some people who always say you must have two referees for these tag team matches because there's so much to keep track of one man can't do it all very true very true i think it's an overabundance of mutilation of a tool and that's the referee if used properly oh wow Deuce Big kick. old kick to the chest there of Billy Warlock. I think Deuce just kicked his spine from and the front. Billy just looks dazed and confused. I don't think he quite knows what he's doing or to Big do right at this point. There. He looks a little out of it. After that kick, I can't imagine there's a lot of breath going into the lungs because he Absolutely drove through not. it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And that's the, the at least the second or third hard strike that Billy Warlock has taken right to the chest that again. Silver takes the initiative to make the tag himself. Uh, invisible tag there that Doc Gregory oh, is allowing. Wow. Uh, and there you go. The inexperience once again coming into play. I think there was the innocence and youth that he circled into the wrong corner and, and Deuce capitalized on it very quickly. We got a double tape thumb oh. for us. Almost the... Uh, a little throwback to Morocco there. Yeah, almost had like an Asianic uh, spike feel to it. What shorty? Oh, double chop right to the throat. Once again, knocking the wind out of their opponent, making it very difficult for these men to breathe, which obviously wears them down physically and makes them easier to defeat. Absolutely. Billy Franco's trying to shake the cobwebs off in the corner there. I can't imagine he's real, real quick to want to get back in there, but Cyrus Silver right back where he's ended up when he tagged out the last guy. Right. And again, Shorty just nailing. You hear the thud of Franco hitting that floor. The biggest thing here. Ah, here uh, we go. Setting him up now. Contract. Oh. He hit it. That's got to be it. That's one, two, three. I can't say that's much of a surprise, Jake. I think that they were far outmatched from the get-go, and I think the good fellas had fun dishing well, out the punishment I today. think you and I knew what was going to happen. The good fellas knew what was happening. I think the Peters, people in Petersburg knew what was going to happen, and unfortunately, the youth of Cyrus Silver and Billy Franco had no idea what was going to happen. Absolutely. I'll tell you, though, if they, if they are brave enough to sign on the dotted line for a rematch, they'll know next time. And they may have a slightly stronger strategy coming uh, into now the Oh, now what do we up. got here? We need it. Now, bell. after the bell, the bell is rung, the match is over, and what do we have? Big splash from the top rope by Shorty Smalls on silver. It's one thing to teach a young kid a lesson. It's another one to try to end his career before it really gets started. Absolutely. No reason to, to dish out this punishment. The match is over. They've taken so much punishment already.